This video introduces the basic concepts of using 2D sketches to create 3D shapes. You can specify the startup action of a part file in the Application Options Part tab. To begin, start the 2D Sketch command and select an origin plane. Use the Draw tools to create sketch shapes called Profiles. Fill in the size box as you sketch, or sketch an approximate shape and add dimensions later. Constraints are applied automatically as you sketch, but you can also add and delete them later. Use F8 or the command in the status bar to turn on the constraint display. Notice the coincident constraint is represented by a filled yellow box. It shows connected geometry. Select a constraint and then right-click to delete. Use F9 or press the command again in the status bar to turn the constraint display off. Another way to delete constraints is to turn on Relax Mode in the status bar. When you turn Relax Mode on and drag, highlighted constraints or dimensions are deleted. You may have to add constraints or dimensions if Relax Mode removes too many relationships. A single dimension command creates all types of dimensions. The dimension type is determined by the selection. If you intentionally or accidentally exit a sketch, you can reactivate it to make additional edits to the geometry. Locate the sketch in the browser and then right-click or double-click to edit. You can also select an edge in the display and select Edit Sketch on the toolbar. I'm going to add another dimension to fully define the sketch. In this example, I'm going to link the new angle dimension to the value of the first angle dimension. The first 3D solid is created from a closed sketch shape. Extrude thickens the sketch profile by the value and direction that you specify. The sketch is placed beneath the new feature in the browser. Right-click the feature or the sketch on the browser to edit. To begin a new sketch for a second feature, you can click the Create 2D Sketch command on the ribbon, or click a plane and select Create Sketch on the toolbar. Notice in this example that the rectangle is initially sketched partially outside the shape, and then the sketch midpoint is locked to the edge midpoint with a coincident constraint. This action establishes symmetry as demonstrated by the dragging action. In this example, the extrude command is used again to remove material from the shape using the cut option. For more information on creating shapes, watch the parts video.